PSA Collector. What's going on guys? It's Matt with PSACollector.com back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to cover the top 10 highest selling rookie cards from the 2018 class. We all know the 2018 class was absolutely loaded. Uh, so I'm, I wanted to make a list of the top 10 players that people are buying now and um, kind of do a, an analysis and report on the, the, the hottest, most hyped players and uh, present it to you guys. I had an awesome time doing the research. I'm going to try to do these quicker because guys, these cards, by the time you go hit eBay, they're going to be more than what I'm presenting to you here. Okay. So the prices are going up on a lot of these cards. So keep that in mind. It, it took me a couple of days to compile the data, make the video and then release it. Okay. So the prices are going to be more <laughs> on uh, most of these players. And you got to take this list with a grain of salt because they're, I'm not using buy it now auctions. I'm only using the auctions and I try to steer clear from Propstein 123 and PWCC prices because we all know those are inflated. However, I think I had to use it in one card on here, um, but I'll let you guys know which card that was. So I make sure the prices are, are for the most part, pretty balanced guys. So I kind of take the average selling price and then I go off of that on which cards are going up in value, which cards people are buying now and they're investing in now. So without any further ado, guys, let's just go ahead and jump into this list. Number 10. Starting off the list at number 10 is Devontae Graham, number 189, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction in, on June 23rd for $26. Which, guys, he's a, uh, he's a point guard for the Hornets. He didn't have a stellar rookie year. However, in 2019, he <clears throat> he's improved dramatically in his, his points per game, his assist point games, his steals. His rebounds, Devontae Graham is improving as a player. He's he, he's he has a great playing style, great ball handling skills. I think Devontae Graham has a lot of potential. His cards at in PSA 10 case $26 right now. Uh, he is a little bit older. He's 25, so you got to keep that in mind. Uh, his if his ceiling um, due to his age, there's a lot of younger guys out there that uh, are bet, would be considered better prospects because they have a lot more time to improve. So uh, keep that in mind, but he's still, guys, he's he's very uh, fun to watch, Devontae Graham. His cards were actually selling in February of this year for about $16 to $15. They had a spike in May at $56, $46, um, but then they went back down to about $27. So overall, guys, his card from February of 2020 has had a 50 cent per, 57 percent uh, price increase. So, you know, do your research, on the player, watch his, his videos, make sure you like them before you invest in them. But I mean, $26 for a PSA 10, that's pretty dirt cheap. I, I, I can see them going up. Uh, how much higher? That's to be determined. But number 10 on the list, guys, Devontae Graham. Number nine. Number nine, Lonnie Walker, number 174, graded PSA 10, gem mint condition, sold at auction on June 14th. For $27, which it beat the Devontae Graham, but at $27, bucks, there's not it, 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 the price hasn't really changed over the past couple of months because that's generally what they've been selling for. So I got a lot, a lot of guys have been asking me about Lonnie Walker. I've looked into him. Um, I'm still on the fence about him. I'm not really sure. He's a six foot five shooting guard for the Spurs. Uh, his stats, not really there, guys. Not really there. But he's number nine on the list. He has a lot of he has he has a lot of eyeballs on him. For being a 2018 rookie, he was drafted first round, 18th pick overall. Lonnie Walker, 27 bucks. I mean, still for a PSA 10, guys. That's when you consider the cost of getting the card graded, 27 dollars is not bad. Uh, check the pop reports, check the hype videos before you guys invest. But Lonnie Walker, guys, he's number nine on the list at 27 dollars for a PSA 10. Number eight. Number eight. DeAndre Ayton, number 157 in a PSA 10 case, sold at auction in April for $31. Now these have gone up a little bit. Uh, the data was all over the place on DeAndre Ayton cars. He was in, uh, number eight on the list at just $31 for a PSA 10. Not bad, not bad, I don't think. Number seven. Number seven. Colin Sexton, number 180 in a PSA 10 case, sold at auction in May of 2020 for $41. So not much data out there to pull from Colin Sexton. This was the most recent auction I can find. And guys, I had to eliminate the buy it nows and um, maybe some other shady looking auctions. So I, I declared $41 a good price. 
uh, especially when you look at his previous sales. So in, in January of this year, they were selling at 15 bucks. And then in March, they jumped to 27. In May, uh, but there's a buy it now at 50. And then one in May sold at auction for $42. So his cards are slowly going up. Uh, it's, it's tough to say how high they'll get or if they'll go back down. But Colin Sexton does have a lot of hype. A PSA 10 selling for just $41, nine bids in May, which is up 173% today at a $42. So that's a pretty big spike in his 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 card, his his stock. So I think a lot of guys are talking about him. A lot of collectors are looking at him. He he's an exciting player to watch. Although he's not in the best team, he's still guys, Colin Sexton. I mean, it's to be determined, really. He's one of those players that's just to be determined. So stay posted, keep your eyes peeled for the Colin Sexton rookie cards. Number six. Number six is Marvin Bagley the third, number 168. PSA 10 recently sold on June 26 at auction for $61, which was very surprising to me, guys, especially when you look at what his prices were, were at in May of 2020, $24, uh, 2020, 32, then they're going up. There's a $40 best offer, $40 buy now, and uh, they just keep going up. So Marvin Bagley cards are up 144% from uh, just May of this year. And uh, yeah, may of this year i think a lot of guys he's healthy there he we're gonna see him in the upcoming games still another player that's to be determined i think 61 dollars is a little high for marvin backley right now i've been picking up some of his other thing uh, other cards for way lower than that but it's a psa 10 we all know guys the potential of these psa 10 optics marvin bagley number six on this list at 61 dollars i definitely like marvin bagley but like i said this price is a little too high for me I would like to. I would have liked to got this card at maybe like 30, 35. But we'll see. I, I, Sixty-one dollars could be low. We never. You never know with the market. Number five. Number five. Jaron Jackson Jr. Number one hundred and eighty-eight in a PSA ten case sold at auction on June twenty-third for seventy-two dollars. And uh, that is up, guys. That's up. Let's see what is it. It's up by one hundred and five percent. His cards were selling at around thirty-five dollars in May. Um, they, they're going up. You look at the prices that they, they went up in uh, from 35 to 50 to 45 to 65 back down to 40 at auction. And recently guys, the auction sold a recent auction sold for $72 in the PSA 10 case. A lot of guys like Jaron Jackson Jr. He, he definitely fouls a lot, but he plays with John Morant. They highlight each other. They elevate each other's hype, each other's game. A lot of guys, a lot of analysts like Jaron Jackson, JJJ. Uh, so $72 though for a PSA 10. How much higher will those prices get? That's to be determined. But number five on this list, guys, is Jaron Jackson Jr. Number four. Number four. Michael Porter Jr. Rookie card number 182 in a PSA 10 case. Sold at auction on June 18th for $82. This was very surprising to me. His cards, they were never really dirt cheap. My MPJ cards, they were never really dirt cheap. They were selling for $50 on average in April of this year. So his cards have seen a 64% increase in, in value uh, over a couple the last couple months. Michael Paul isn't there in, in the NBA. So I would definitely be a little hesitant to pay $82 for a PSA 10. I would much rather buy the cards raw and ungraded and submit them to PSA myself because for 82 bucks, you probably get a lot of those, a lot of the cards uh, raw and ungraded. $82 guys, he, I mean, he's number four on the list, Michael Porter Jr. A lot of guys are hype on him and uh, definitely look into him. Look into his, 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 his videos, his hype videos. Check out his uh, other options. If $82 is too much, which for me it is, I would definitely look for the, uh, you know, the raw ungraded cards. So number four, Michael Porter Jr. Number three. Number three, Shea Gilgis Alexander, number 162, graded PSA 10, gem mint conditions, sold at auction on June 21st for $141, guys. That is a huge, huge markup from where it was. It's up 156%. In April, they were selling for just $55, $52 on average. And then they've had a huge spike actually in at the end of April. They were selling at auction for 104, 118, and they're just going up. A lot of guys see the 
SGA potential playing for uh, uh, playing at OKC. I know I've been buying a lot of SGA cards. His select, his raw ungraded cards, they're definitely going up. He's got a great confidence. He's fearless on the floor. I like SGA. A lot of other collectors like SGA. $141 for a PSA 10. I mean, that's that, that could be low. That could be high. We, it's to be determined. Another play that's to be determined, but a lot of guys are hype on him. A lot, his cards are selling for a pretty penny. So if you guys have any SGA, I would definitely hold right now. I would hold and see what happens with him because, like I said, very athletic, fun player to watch, and overall, awesome, awesome basketball player. Number two. Number two. Trey Young, number 198, graded PSA 10, gem in condition, sold at auction on June 21st for $157. Trey Young, guys, he has been climbing the ranks all year long. Uh, his cards took off in uh, early March, I think. So in April, they were, they were selling at 140 PSA 10 cases. So they're up about 12%. Even though he's not going to be playing in the upcoming games, people are investing in him for next year. They they, they see the Hawks doing good next year. Um, they got a young team. They're 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 growing. They're they're building around each other. I think Trey Young and John Collins are the core right now. Um, Cam Reddish. I, I like Kevin Herter. Uh, the, the the Hawks team is loaded with young potential. And Trey Young, I think, is definitely the leader. He's definitely the leading scorer on the team. Um, he's also leading in turnovers. So, but. The, nobody seems to really care about that, but he's definitely throwing points on the board. Uh, Trey Young, guys, $157 for a PSA 10. The ceiling for his cards, I don't know, man. It's tough. I really like Trey Young. He's an exciting player to watch. His handling skills, his logo three point shots are insane. He, so much hype around Trey Young in Atlanta right now. So, uh, like I said earlier, if you guys can buy the raw ungraded cards for a third of the price, submit them to PSA yourself, that would be the better option, more affordable option. However, that takes a lot of time and, uh, you know, a little bit more money to pay for the, the fees. So, definitely, guys, Trey Young, cards are going up, even though he's not playing. No, number two on the list, guys, 2000, from the 2018 draft class, is Trey Young. Number one. Number one. Luka Doncic, number 171, graded PSA 10, gem in condition, sold at auction on June 25th for $405. That's actually up 16% from the fourth of this month. Okay, so they were selling for around, the, the on the lower end, 348, and on the higher end, about 365. Okay, they, they've gone up to over $400 for a PSA 10. 16% increase. The population, there's only 1,868 1, PSA 10s in existence, which is very, very, very low when compared to Panini Prism, guys. Luka Doncic, PSA 10s, guys. I don't know what the ceiling is for these cards because a lot of guys like to think of the optic as the new Topps Chrome, okay? Believe it or not, there's, there's speculation and debate on Panini Prism being the Topps Chrome. However, with the population reports of the Panini Prism and the design, it looks nothing like Topps Chrome. I think it's the optic. That's my opinion. Um, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but I would much rather have the optic, and that's why I'm doing these videos on the optic because uh, the population reports are significantly lower. Um, the cards have are more attractive to me. I love this set, guys. I love the design. I love the rated rookie logo. I like how it has that vintage, not vintage, but you know, early '90s baseball design with the rated rookie on it. Panini did an excellent job with this card. It has borders, unlike the prism, unlike the select. The optic has borders. It's it's more of a traditional uh, sports card with the borders, with the design. Love the optic. I can only see this set getting more and more valuable, more and more collectible. And uh, over time, guys, these the prices of these cards could definitely overtake Panini Prism. That's my prediction. Buy what you guys want to buy, though. Don't listen to me. Think for yourselves and uh, do your own research do your own due diligence get if you guys like other sets go for those sets first this video was just to break down rookie cards in general on the, the top 10 rookie cards from the 2018 class let me know in the comments below if you guys think a, a player should be on this list and what their cards are selling for keep in mind guys these prices are going to be higher when you go to look on ebay to see what they're selling for okay the basketball game, the basketball is getting ready to start and guys are spending more and more money investing in these cards before the game start because we all know what's going to happen after the game start and these players do well. You know, some on this list will be playing and some won't. There are also other rookies from other uh, other years that you should be looking into as well. 
This is for the 2018 class only. I'm going to be doing more and more of these videos. I hope you all enjoy. Thanks for supporting my channel. If you guys want to take your collecting to the next level, go check out my Patreon page, patreon.com, PSA Collector. I have a lot of perks in there, a lot of benefits. Um, I interact with my audience on a daily basis. So go check me out on Patreon, guys. I'll see you all in the next video, all right?